feel lost. I feel empty inside. It. Annette Linares has had less than a week to process the death of her little sister, Chantel. Life is not going to be the same anymore. But she's already advocating on Chantel's behalf. She earned a round of applause after speaking before the Hesperia City Council Tuesday night, demanding that something be done about the flimsy barriers all along the California aqueduct. I'm fed up with people losing their lives on that aqueduct when it could have been prevented. Her 24-year-old sister, Chantel, was one of those victims. She drowned after her car crashed into the aqueduct last week. She was able to make one final phone call to her mom as the water was rushing in. The phone call was less than a minute and all it was saying was, Mommy, I crashed. Mommy, I'm in the water. Mommy, I love you. It's the last thing she said to my mother. The pain was written all over the faces of Linares' family. They were supposed to be planning her graduation, not her funeral. We barely started going out, her and I. And Linares isn't the only one to lose her life in the aqueduct. Back in March, a car with four people in it crashed into the waters. 31-year-old Christina Estrada and her two young sons, Jeremiah and Noah, were all killed. Three of my family members, my daughter and my grandchildren, you know, and enough is enough. Carlotta Estrada lost three loved ones that day. She showed up to Tuesday's meeting frustrated that yet another family is now suffering. My grandbabies that went in the aqueduct as well, and this should have never happened because of city of Hesperia or the state or whoever. Whatever they have to do, they got to do and they're not doing it. And the problem goes back decades. On July 4th, 1998, a woman was rescued after her car went into the aqueduct. And just four days later, the body of missing screenwriter Gary DeVore was found in the waters as well after his Ford Explorer crashed into the aqueduct. Really? Um, Linares' family's message to Hesperia City Council was loud and clear. I will go and I will, I will not stop. If I get arrested, well, I'm going to get arrested for doing something for my baby sister and for justice for all the other families that lost their lives. This memorial still stands at the spot where Linares lost her life and her family wants to make it clear. She wasn't drunk, nor was she suicidal when this happened, and they say they are not going to stop fighting until something a little stronger than this chicken wire is installed along the aqueduct. In Hesperia tonight, Bill Malugin, Fox 11 News.